I don't think we're going to make it through this atmosphere without overheating. Uh... <laughs> What's up people, it's your boy Jatua, I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program testing something silly out, but we're going to see how well it does in our re-entry test, because I want to see if I can make this rover fly in. It's been a while since I've done something like this, and I wanted to send something like this over to Lathe, or maybe over to Eve with a little bit more protections, because right now it's just dying in the atmosphere. We're good. We're good. Our periapsis is 12,000. That's good enough. Okay, so let's uh, get into some sunlight, get some energy going on here. And once we start diving down, we're going to ditch this main part here. Um, did I make it so I could actually ditch it? I did not. I did not. This is going to have to explode then. Well, that's fine with me. I like explosions. And there goes one. Is the other one going to pop just yet? Is it going to try to hang in there? There it goes. Alright. No more power generation going. So now we have to be really careful. We might be able to glide over to some land. So we'll see what happens. I want to see what happens if I deploy this and get rid of that. <laughs> Holy crap, that was fast. It wants to roll. We are not into the lower atmosphere yet, so it's not extremely concerning just yet. Okay, we're more into the atmosphere now. Looks like we have some control here. We are heading straight down. That is... That's the wrong button. That's not good. But uh, let's deploy our landing gear. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and make that go away. I'm going to watch up here because this engine... The Kerbal Engineer information that it gives me is a lot better for me. Uh, I like to eyeball it very hard. <laughs> we need to burn off a lot of the speed. All right. Here we go. We're going to start our maneuver now. And hopefully we can burn this off. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's gliding. It's gliding. Oh, that's a beautiful glide. I think we're in survivable landing speeds. So let's go ahead and bring this up some more. And we're just going to come so we come in nice and level. Nice and level. Ha 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 ha! I don't think it gets better than that. I don't think I have steering enabled on that. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, that was beautiful. We can turn you off. That was an absolutely beautiful landing. I don't think I could have done that one better. This is all stock parts uh, from breaking ground and from, I think there may be some parts? From, uh, from the, well, oh, oh, making history, that thing. So, we'll see what we can do here, and, uh, if we can make this thing land on any other planets. So, while we're here, let's go ahead, eject that. And, get rid of this. Well, I didn't go exactly according to plan. Aha! There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. All right. I think we are gonna need some air brakes. I'm uh, not air brakes. Uh, a heat shield. Very quickly. Whoa! In just one minor second. <laughs> put those air brakes and they insta-pop. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Uh... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's still enjoyable. Let's watch this beautiful sunrise over Eve. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. There it is. Peaks right over the edge there. Oh, yes. I don't think I ever get tired of it on Eve. On Duna, I've, I've been to Duna so much, I'm kind of getting tired of Duna. <laughs> and we're going to hope that this heat shield holds up. And hope that our energy um, isn't going to run out <laughs> in the time it takes for us to do our insert. Oh my god, it's draining so fast. We are through. Okay. So here's where we need to quickly ditch this. So next step. Um, yeah, I mean, that's totally what I was going for too. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, that was totally not what I was going for. All right, from here, it's pretty easy. Believe it or not, from here it's really easy. We just have to not do that. Not do that. Don't do that. Okay, there you go. Hey, yeah, there we go. Now I got the controls going. Okay. And my dog's in the background snoring so loud. Hopefully you guys don't have to hear that. <laughs> this thing glides so well. And really, the design is really simple. It's just this... Probodyne uh, Rovemate with two wings that are inset there. Uh, these are just to give me a, some additional lift so I can balance it. And then on the front I have these grip strips to give me a little drag and also give me uh, on the front here I have these Elvons. Now I have a little bit of a hedral on these uh, front and back ones and I also have this rear one that's only for pitch. I wanted this because it gives you really fantastic large control over your pitch. These really give me excellent yaw control in the configuration they're in right now, so it tends to work really well. Now that's a good shot. Okay. All right, let me stop warping. Let's get serious. Get rid of that. I don't want to see it. We're going to bring out our wheels. Make sure we're not warping anymore. Uh, we are currently going 32 meters per second. We just need to flatten out, bleed some speed. Oh, we got some interesting things right here too. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's flatten her out. And look how well that's gliding. Oh, that's so stupid. That is stupidly stable for a glide. Oh my god. We are going to land with the most of ease right now. Flare up, touchdown. And there you go. You're landed. And of course, don't forget to turn on your steering here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn all these off so you don't have to watch those flare all over the place. Duke, duke, duke. And this one you can turn off as well. <coughs> well, my friends, I think that is a absolute fantastic success. That is way more stable than our other rover that we sent in before Glidewise. It's faster and it also has the ability to recharge itself using larger uh, the panels here that we have instead of just using these small ones because these they may have direct sunlight but they don't have a ton of power generation with the sun coming up behind us we can at least get up here get our first scan in for the day and then recharge our batteries this is awesome we can probably turn off our motors on the front and save a little bit more power. We're not going to be going as fast, but hey, we don't really need speed right now. 
So would I use something like this to glide in a planet? So far, it worked so beautifully on Kerbin. It worked even more beautifully here on Eve. So I would have to say, yes, I would, especially with the speed that I get from this. Uh, so we can just go up here. We're just going to do a quick scan just because why not? We're already here. We should be in range. We're not in range. Let's get in range. Okay, we're in range. Okay, so what we can do here is we can extend our solar panels. Get a little extra solar going in here. Recharge our batteries. And then we can tell it to scan the pancake dome. Not enough EC. Yeah, we need more EC. Okay. Um, obviously, we have to send more batteries. <laughs> It needs 250. We clearly only have 120 because I wasn't thinking about batteries. But anyhow, this could definitely work. I'd slap on two additional batteries and it would work just fine. So yeah, I like this one. This one's a lot better design. It's more robust and it glides in at a lot slower speed, which gives it a lot more survivability. So that is fantastic. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in the comment, let me know what you think. And this has been your boy, Jotois, and I'm out. Hopefully you, uh, you have, uh, uh, do like the YouTube thing, and uh, subscribe, like. If you're wondering where I've been, <laughs> I lost power for a week. And then, when the power came back up, I went and lost internet. It was wonderful. It was, uh, it was, it was just absolutely wonderful. It was not wonderful. But, nonetheless... Um, I'm back, so I'll start trying to do things again. <laughs> Thank you all, and have a great day. See you later. Peace.